Hello everyone. As we move to a virtual learning environment, Paxton School Counseling Department wanted to be sure that you understood how your school counselor is going to be here to help you through this process. The first thing to make sure of is that you have access to the Paxton School Counseling Department Microsoft Team. You should see this icon when you log onto Microsoft Team. Please note that this is an additional resource, but it does not replace Paxton's guidance website. So please make sure that you are still visiting paxtonguidance.weebly.com and subscribing to the blog in order to receive information. Below you will see listed the school counselor information and which students each school counselor is assigned to. This way, if you're not quite sure, you can see whether or not your school counselor is Ms. Clayton, Mrs. Bajalia, Mrs. Mullen, or Mrs. Culpepper. School counselors will be available beginning March 23rd. As far as our availability within Microsoft Teams, these are the times listed below. So between 8 a.m. to 8.30, you will be able to contact any of the school counselors. First lunch, Mrs. Bajalia and Mrs. Mullen will be available. Second lunch, Mrs. Clayton and Mrs. Culpepper will be available. And then from 2.50 to 3.20, you will also be able to contact any of the school counselors. Between the hours of 8.45 to 2.30 p.m., you will be able to schedule private phone appointments with us. So if you have something that you would like to discuss one-on-one, -on -one, you may schedule an appointment with us through Sign Up Genius. And we will be placing the links to those Sign Up Genius accounts for each counselor on our Packs and Guidance website, as well as we will publish it in Teams. As far as additional ways to contact your school counselor, Email is the best form of communication. So if you need to make sure that your school counselor is answering your questions or if you have a concern, please make sure that you try emailing them. Everyone will also be receiving a Google phone directory that will list all Paxton faculty and staff members Google phone numbers, and this includes each school counselors. But again, email is the best way to contact us during this time. Course selection, we've been getting questions about that. As far as course selection, all course requests will be submitted through your focus account. And we have outlined the dates below for when this will take place. So for our current AP juniors, we will complete course selection March 30th and 31st. Current AP sophomores, course selection will be completed April 6th and 7th through your focus account. And then current AP freshmen, course selection will be conducted April 13th and 14th. All students that are on the IB program of study in grades 9 through 11 should have already completed course selection prior to spring break. In order to better assist you with how to complete your course selection through FOCUS, a PowerPoint will be listed along with information on where to find the course catalog and course selection sheets that will assist you with completing the course selection process. Community service documentation is still something that is important. Remember, all Paxton students must have a minimum of 75 hours of community service documented upon graduation. And so those community service packets are still available on our Paxton Guidance website. And you can submit that information to your school counselor via email, and we will forward it to Ms. Bennett in order to have her enter those hours onto FOCUS. As far as transcript requests, and this is particularly for senior students, transcript request forms are available online on our Paxton Guidance website. You can then submit that request to your school counselor and we will forward it to Mrs. Bowie or Mrs. Bennett. Or if you would like to forward it directly yourself, you can do that as well. We are here for you. We know that this can be a stressful time and we want to make sure that we offer as much support as possible throughout this process. So please make sure that you're reaching out to us. Also be patient as this is a learning experience for everyone involved, but we are here to make sure that you are able to complete this year successfully. So you will be hearing a lot more from us and we look forward to working with you for the rest of the school year.